Hi, my name is Tim. And in this short video, I'm gonna guide you through the proper procedure for troubleshooting a faulty start capacitor on a residential air conditioner. First, let's take a look at the start capacitor. It's right here in the outdoor unit control panel. I'll zoom in a little bit on it. You can see there's a yellow and two red wires going to it. Now the function of the start capacitor is to provide starting assistance for the compressor. Many new air conditioners have thermostatic expansion valve metering devices. And what happens is during the off cycle, the pressures in the system or refrigerant pressures do not equalize during a normal off cycle, meaning the compressor has to start up against a fairly high discharge pressure. And this is gonna require some starting assistance to do this. Now in older units, you're not gonna have a start capacitor because many of the older units used fixed bore metering devices and the pressures equalize during the off cycle, providing more favorable starting for the compressor. So these units could just use a PSC motor in the compressor, you know, just a run capacitor. But again, we have a start capacitor here and I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot it. So let's begin by going to the thermostat and turning it to call for cooling. Click the system selector switch, which will move it to the cool position. It will also set the temperature setting below the room temperature. Click OK on the procedure guide at the top. Next, let's take a look at what loads are running. Well, we can see here that the indoor fan is definitely running, so we can click yes here. And when we go to the outdoor unit, we see that the outdoor fan is in fact operating, so we can click yes. Next, we wanna investigate the compressor, and we can see by the stationary blue arrows that the compressor is not running. Those arrows would be spinning if the compressor was running. You can also use a clamp on ammeter to verify this if necessary. So no, our compressor's not running. So we're gonna turn off the disconnect, and we're gonna make some checks here with our multimeter. Now, we're gonna assume that the compressor's off on lock drawer or amperage. If you have a faulty capacitor or a faulty uh, potential relay, the compressor will try to start on the run winding. It won't be able to turn over, but it will draw lock drawer or amperage, which would cause the internal overload to turn the compressor off. So we're assuming this is what's happening here. So to begin with, you need to discharge the capacitors. This is an important safety consideration. Now that's already been done for you in the sim. So our next step is to disconnect the wires from the capacitor or isolate it. So we're gonna click on it and click isolate and you'll see the wires are disconnected now. Click okay on the procedure guide and our next step would be to measure the capacitance value across the start capacitor. Now you can look on the side of the capacitor, typically on the label, and it'll give you the microfarad rating. This particular start capacitor is rated for 200 microfarads. So let's place the microfarad meter across the two glowing orange hot spots on the star capacitor. And you'll notice we have zero microfarads. This verifies that the star capacitor is faulty and is gonna to need to be replaced. So we're gonna go up to the procedure glide and click no, that we don't have 200 microfarads. Next, we're gonna click on the capacitor and click replace on the menu, which solves our problem. Reconnect your wires to the new capacitor and verify that all loads are operating once you turn the disconnect back on. But just a note here, manufacturers all recommend that when replacing a star capacitor that you also replace the potential relay at this time. Uh, although the potential relay may appear to be functioning properly, it's possible that it's keeping its contacts closed for just a split second too long every cycle. And this slowly overheats the start capacitor in each cycle and eventually causes premature failure of it. So again, when you're replacing a start capacitor, always replace the starting relay with it. Now that we've replaced the start capacitor, uh, we're gonna click OK on the procedure guide. We're gonna turn the power back onto the unit. We're gonna watch one full cycle of operation and go up to the residence and ensure that cool air is being delivered through the floor register. And we can see from the graphic that it is. Thanks for watching. You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.